So now we're taking a look at spot instances and they have the opportunity to give you the biggest savings with 90% discount compared to on-demand pricing. There are some caveats though. So AWS has all this unused compute capacity. So they want to maximize the utility of their idle servers. It's no different than when a hotel offers discounts to fill vacant suites or when a plane uh, offers discounts to fill vacant seats. Okay, so there's just EC2 instances lying around. It would be better uh, to give people discounts than uh, for them to do nothing. Um, so the only caveat though, is that when you use spot instances, if another customer who wants to pay on demand a higher price uh, uh, wants to use it and um, they need to give that capacity to that on demand user, this instance can be terminated at any given time, okay? Um, and that's gonna be the trade-off. So just looking at termination, termination conditions down below. Instances can be terminated by AWS at any time. If your instance is terminated by AWS, you don't get charged for uh, the, the partial hour of usage. But if you were to terminate an instance, you will still be charged for any hour that it ran, okay? So there you go. That's the little caveat to it. Um, but what would you use spot instances for if, it can, if these uh, instances could be interrupted at any time? Well, they're designed for applications that have flexible start and end times or applications that are only feasible at very low compute costs. And so you can see I pulled out um, uh, the configuration graphic when you make spot. So it's saying like, is it for load balancing workloads, flexible workloads, big data workloads, or defined duration workloads? So you can see there uh, is some definitions as to what kind of utility you would have there. But there you are.